Within just three months of eating one meal a day, your body can lower its daily calorie burn by up to 300 calories without changing your weight at all. Ever wonder why your scale suddenly freezes even though you're doing the exact same fasting protocol that melted fat effortlessly before? Today, I'll explain why OMAD stops working like you're five years old. By the end, you'll understand exactly what's happening inside your metabolism and how to fix it without giving up fasting entirely. Most people think OMAD is a cheat code for fat loss. You shrink your eating window to one hour, your insulin stays low all day, and your body burns fat like a furnace. And for the first few weeks or months, that's exactly what happens. The scale drops steadily. Your clothes fit better. You feel unstoppable. Then one day you step on the scale and nothing changed. A week later, still nothing. Two weeks pass and the number hasn't budged. You're still fasting 23 hours. You're still eating clean, but your body stopped cooperating. This isn't failure. This is biology. And it happens to almost everyone who sticks with OMAD long enough. Here's what you need to understand. Your body is not a calculator. It doesn't burn the same number of calories forever just because you're fasting. Your metabolism is alive, adaptable, and incredibly smart. When you eat one meal a day for weeks or months, your body notices the pattern. It notices you're eating less often. It notices your calorie intake dropped. And it does what every survival system does. It adjusts. Scientists call this metabolic adaptation, but think of it as your body's fuel-saving mode. Your metabolism becomes more efficient at using fewer calories. Your organs slow down slightly. Your movement becomes a little less energetic without you even realizing it. Your body temperature might drop by half a degree. You don't feel it happening, but your metabolism is quietly downshifting to match your new normal. This matters because this survival response isn't something you can override with willpower. You can fast perfectly and still hit a wall. Your body doesn't care that you want to lose 10 more pounds. It cares about keeping you alive. And when it senses long-term calorie restriction, it protects you by burning less energy. That's why someone eating one meal a day for six months might burn 300 fewer calories per day than they did at the start, even at the same body weight. The fasting window didn't stop working. Your metabolism just evolved to protect you from what it perceives as a food shortage. But here's where it gets tricky. OMAD fixes insulin spikes beautifully. Eating once means your insulin only rises once. The rest of the day, your body can tap into fat stores without interference. That part still works. But fat loss isn't just about insulin. It's also about total energy balance, muscle mass, and how your hormones respond to stress. And this is where people mess up without realizing it. Some people undereat protein during their one meal because they're focused on staying low calorie. Your body needs protein to maintain muscle. When you don't get enough, your body breaks down muscle tissue for amino acids. Muscle burns calories even at rest, roughly 50 calories per day for every pound of muscle. Less muscle means lower metabolism. You're fasting perfectly, but losing the engine that burns fat. Other people do the opposite. They're so hungry during their one meal that they eat everything in sight. At first, this isn't a problem because their metabolism is still high. But as adaptation kicks in and their body burns fewer calories, that same giant meal starts pushing them into a surplus. They swear they're eating the same portions, and they probably are, but their body now needs less fuel. A meal that created a 500 calorie deficit in month one might only create a 200 calorie deficit by month three. The math flipped without them noticing. OMAD didn't fail them, their calorie needs shrank, and their meal size didn't. Now check this out. Your hunger hormone, ghrelin, adapts too. When you first start OMAD, you might feel starving all day. Your stomach growls constantly. You think about food every hour. But after a few weeks, ghrelin learns your schedule. It stops spiking throughout the day and only rises around your usual mealtime. This makes OMAD feel easier, but it also means your body has fully adapted to the pattern. It's no longer a metabolic challenge. It's just your routine, and routines don't force your body to change anymore. Then there's the lifestyle stuff nobody talks about. Maybe you started OMAD when you were motivated and active. You hit the gym five days a week. You walked everywhere. You slept well. But three months later, life got stressful. Work piled up, sleep dropped to six hours, your workouts became inconsistent or stopped completely. Stress raises cortisol. Cortisol makes your body hold on to fat, especially around your midsection. Poor sleep ruins leptin and ghrelin balance, making you hungrier and less satisfied after eating. You're still fasting, but everything around the fast is working against you. OMAD alone can't overpower bad sleep and chronic stress. 
this matters because you could be doing everything right with your eating window while your lifestyle quietly sabotages every bit of progress. So here's the good news. Hitting a plateau doesn't mean OMAD is broken. It means your body adapted, and now you need to adapt your approach. You don't have to quit fasting. You just need to shake things up so your metabolism wakes back up. First, increase your protein. Aim for at least one gram per pound of your goal body weight during your meal. Protein preserves muscle, boosts metabolism slightly through digestion, and keeps you fuller longer. If you're eating one meal with 60 grams of protein and you weigh 170 pounds, you're losing muscle every day. Bump it up. Second, add resistance training if you're not already lifting. Muscle is metabolically expensive tissue. Your body burns calories maintaining it around the clock. When you build or preserve muscle, you raise your baseline calorie burn. You don't need to become a bodybuilder. Two or three strength sessions a week is enough to signal your body that muscle matters and shouldn't be sacrificed. Third, stop doing OMAD every single day. Your body adapts to consistency. If you eat once a day at 6 p.m. for 90 days straight, your metabolism learns the pattern and adjusts. Instead, mix it up. Do OMAD three or four days a week. Do 18-6 or 20-hour fasts the other days. Throw in a longer eating window on weekends. This keeps your metabolism guessing. Your body can't fully adapt to a moving target. Fourth, try a refeed day once a week. Eat at maintenance calories or even slightly above with more carbs than usual. This temporarily spikes leptin, the hormone that tells your body you're not starving. It can kickstart fat loss again by reassuring your metabolism that food is still abundant. You're not breaking your diet. You're strategically using more food to lose more fat. Fifth, shift your meal timing. If you always eat dinner, try breakfast for two weeks. If you eat at 6 p.m., try noon. Changing when you eat can disrupt your body's rhythm just enough to restart progress. It's a small tweak with a surprising impact. Here's the bigger point. OMAD is a tool, not magic. It works incredibly well for insulin control, appetite management, and simplifying your eating schedule. But your body adapts to everything over time, including fasting. The people who succeed long-term with OMAD aren't the ones who do it perfectly every day forever. They're the ones who evolve their approach when progress stalls. They add muscle work. They cycle their fasting windows. They eat enough protein. They manage stress and sleep. They treat OMAD like one piece of a bigger strategy, not the entire strategy itself. The plateau isn't failure, it's feedback. Your body is telling you it's time to level up. Most people panic and either quit or double down by fasting even harder. Neither works. Instead, you adjust, adapt, and keep moving forward. OMAD still works. You just need to work it smarter. So to recap, OMAD stops working because your metabolism adapts by burning fewer calories over time. Muscle loss from low protein makes it worse. Calorie creep during your meal can sneak up on you. Stress, poor sleep, and low activity sabotage fat loss, even when fasting is perfect. But you can fix it by increasing protein, lifting weights, alternating fasting windows, adding refeed days, and shifting meal time. OMAD isn't broken. Your body just evolved, and now your strategy needs to evolve too. So what if your plateau isn't actually telling you that OMAD failed, but that you've become so adapted to fasting that your body needs an even bigger challenge to keep changing?